<sighs> super short, should be super super short video again. Now uh, I ordered a new set of reels and uh, it should be based on the THK20, which is the width of the reel, something something. I'll check the carriage, it's called the TRH20. Now I didn't know, but apparently THK, Eco, and uh, I believe a few others, Rex Roth, Roth and one more, uses kind of the same reel. High wind of course as well. So this is a high wind copy. And now what's weird, this one fits on here as well, rides better actually. I didn't measure any play or something, but this runs smooth. Well, this one runs okay, but less smooth. These run uh, fine as well. This one and this one is a tight fit. These on my big long rail is a tight fit. And with these carriages, it's kind of randomly how they perform on this rail and on this rail. These are too snug on these reels. So on the cheap reels, they're too snug. So these are still cheap and fake, I guess. But they should be exchangeable with the original THK. And apparently it's also interchangeable with the high wind. It's quite confusing, I must say, because they have all different names for the same reel. All the carriages have different names, different brands. And by the looks of it, some are interchangeable makes it really weird so these are 20 chips i could find it 27 euro a piece something in this region these are only 11 euros a piece and the reel itself that comes with these is also more expensive now i hoped Maybe I could use the cheap reel with these carriages, since they are interchangeable. Because I have a little bit more trust in these carriages. But apparently it doesn't work quite well. So, overall this one seems to be better. It's also um, three times as expensive. And like half the price. Slightly less than half the price of an original TH key. <laughs> so it really it is you spend a little bit more it becomes better etc now if you only look at the reel um, you can see that the surface finish um, is already nicer on this one uh, sorry this one so here you can see like grind marks and such this one is like really smooth sure if you can see it but this one looks a little bit rugged the height seems to be the same this is not a scientific method of checking this but now if you look at the thing itself it looks completely different it uses metal pieces there that are plastic inserts here these are screwed down now this part here is clipped in plastic here it's a metal bar here it's metal bar I probably will never get that on camera and the backside this piece here is also plastic on here metal on this one Mm, this comes with a nozzle, which is nice. Uh, it saves you two euros or something. <laughs> Not a huge amount, but hey. And then there is this wiper, which is slightly less good in wiping, I believe. But, uh, well, it works. And what is weird, I see... And this is hard to film, as usual. This one seems to have room for another ball. I don't know. I think there needs to be another ball. At least there's room for 
at least one ball and then there is slightly room left. You can hear it as well. But what I think, and I have to disassemble them, the bore that's running through this block might be much smoother than this one because uh, this was really rugged and nasty. Maybe this is slightly better. CHTR. So that seems to be a, something like a brand. It might be a knockoff brand, but at least it's branded. This one is just a random copy with nothing on there. CHTR. I'm going to look that up. This looks to be a little bit better made, but well, yeah. The price is also a little bit higher. So I bought only this reel and two blocks to see how smooth they were. And if the, I ordered two carriages because I wanted to know if they're both running fine. Because with these, some run okay-ish. This is much harder to move than this one. Uh, some run like a little bit crappy, some run almost not at all, and some uh, perfectly. So by looks of it, it's also the quality seems to be a bit more the same on, on these blocks. At least I only have two samples, of course. But now I know this works quite nice. I will order a second reel with two blocks. It's going to be used for the uh, Z-axis. Or Z? I don't know because they, they seem to be working a little bit better. And when I do order them, then I have four carriages, and if they all run smooth, then that's the way to go, although a little bit more expensive. I won't be changing out the ones on the Y-axis. I'm probably gonna select the best eight I got. I got 10, maybe order some extra to get the best ones in. I hope for the best. I mean, I'm not gonna spend uh, a few hundred euros again to buy everything in this this version. I might if if you know these are completely wear down, worn down. So yeah, small update. So there are uh, completely different carriages that, well, not completely different banding. Also sold as a THK replacement, which also fits the high wing, which they do not state so. I'm not sure if that's pos or should be possible, but by the looks of it, it, it is. I've seen some websites that say certain TH key products are interchangeable with the high wind, and by the looks of it, this is one of them. I mean, otherwise, I would not even be able to fit it, I think. So, now waiting for my new dial indicator, uh, base, an arm. And then I can measure if this has more play than this one, for instance. If not, these run way smoother, so that's already a win. And I might be ordering a second one. And this will go in the, not in the bin, but maybe for another machine that I don't, do not care much about, or well, it will, it will come in handy someday. Is this small? Well, eight minutes. Maybe I can cut some material now. See you later. I'll make a next video when I receive my measuring, crappy uh, measuring stuff. So, and I will take one apart as well when I'm at it. See how they are built. Is the lineup the same? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it looks like it. See ya.